are named Jags. I'm Bianca, and you're watching J Jag News. Welcome back for another great day, Jaguars. What day is it? Today is a C block schedule. You're going to be working in periods one, two, and three in your Google Classroom. Remember to go to the Classwork tab and check in for your daily attendance for each hour. Please attend any live sessions that you have been invited to, turn in work that is due today, and ask your teachers questions if you have them. If you're not sure which classes you have for periods one, two, and three on a C block, log into Infinite Campus, click on Schedule, and look at the C column. This will tell you which classes to work on today. Remember, today is a C block. It's periods one, two, and three. Tomorrow will be a D block. Have a fantastic day, Jaguars. Morning, Jags. I wanted to let you know about an opportunity on our campus. If you need access to a device or Wi-Fi, we have three sessions available for you to come on campus from 8.30 to 3.30. Starting next week, you can actually sign up for multiple sessions. So you could stay from 8.30 to 3.30 if you wanted to. You will need to bring your own lunch and some water if you do that, because there's no food service. If you want to do this, if you want to join us and take advantage of this, you can call the front office and sign up. Or you can go to our school's website, click on the About Us tab, it's 2021 school year information, and click on Tech Access. And that's going to bring up a document that tells all everything you need to know about it and also has a link to a Sign Up Genius where you and your family can pick the date and time that you, times or time that you want to come. Hope this helps. If you're interested, be sure to sign up. We look forward to seeing you. It's time to improve the security of your GSE account, and you're going to do that by going to your profile in your dashboard. It's in the upper right-hand corner by the CUSD logo. Click on the circle. Then click Manage Your Google Account. From this screen, you're going to go all the way to the left and find where it says Security. About halfway down the screen in Security, you're going to see a part where it says Password. From here, go all the way to the right and click the carrot. Now, it wants to make sure that you're actually the right person to change the password, so you're going to have to enter your current password again in order to verify. Then click Next. From here, you have to create a new password, and you'll have to enter it twice. It has to be the same both times. Make sure you're using at least eight characters, and you don't want to use anything too obvious. Remember, this is just for you and to improve the security of your account. Don't forget to write it down in a safe spot as well. Once you've entered it correctly in the first spot, and then the second spot, go ahead and click Change Password, and then you're all set. Sometimes when you've signed in, you'll be forced to create a new password. But don't worry, you didn't do anything wrong. The district did that. That's to make sure that students' accounts are safe and secure. So you get to come up with a new password. Make sure it's eight characters long, at least. Type it into both places correctly and click Next. After that, you'll be asked to sign in again with your new password so you can verify that it's actually you who changed it. Once you've verified your account, you're all set to go. If you happen to forget your password, no problem. Just contact your teacher and they'll be able to reset it for you. Hope that helps. Have a great day. Hey Jags. I'm Mr. Randall. I'm the athletic director here at Anderson Junior High. I know many of you are excited to play sports this year and I wanted to update you about first season sports. Unfortunately, the EVC, the East Valley Conference, has announced that the first season sports are canceled at this time due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The EVC is currently working on a three season schedule that will include missed first season sports. Those sports are girls volleyball, flag football, and baseball. We will start the 2020-2021 season at the start of second quarter as long as we have met the health metrics and our campuses have been reopened. If you wish to participate in sports this year, 
you'll need to register online by going to register my athlete and also complete a sports physical. All of this information and updates about athletics can be found on our athletic webpage that's located on the Anderson Junior High webpage. Go to www.cusd80.com slash AJHS. Thank you for your patience and understanding as we prepare for a safe and healthy 2021 athletic and academic school year. Hello everyone, I'm Officer Cole with the Chandler Police Department. I am the school resource officer here at Anderson Junior High. I'm back to being here full time. The last two years I've been covering two schools, Santan and here, but we got our, our um, SRO division beefed up to full capacity, so I'm here full time. A little bit about myself, I've been in police for 23 years. 11 years in patrol, 12 years in the community services unit, SRO division. Um, when you get back, you will see me in full police uniform. And um, I'll get with Mr. Hale, so I think Friday I'll be in uniform and I'll be, we'll take a picture of me in uniform. So many of you are asking what do school resource officers do? And we do a lot of things. Primarily we're here to build a, a bridge of trust between the community and police and get in the classes and do law related education stuff on issues ranging from voting issues, constitutional issues, civil rights issues, all sorts of stuff. And then all, obviously because I'm police, I get involved in police investigations. However, those times and instances are rare. Um, I work eight to four-ish, Monday through Friday, um, weekends off. I'll be off when you guys are off as well. This is my office inside the media center. So what you do is you come through, you walk through um, the, walk past the, the librarian's desk. For the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's our show for today. Thank you for watching.